Look how beautiful you are. Good morning. Say hi, friends. Hi. What? What? Uh-oh. Thank you, Fisher Price, for sponsoring today's video. Hi, you guys. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Andy and I are just relaxing in my bedroom right now. She just finished eating, so she has a super full belly, and she's super happy. Um, she's almost two months, so now that she is almost two months, she's having a lot more wakeful periods throughout the day, which has been really nice because when the girls take their nap, she's usually awake almost the whole time. So, one, it's exhausting. But two, it's just really nice that I can spend quality time with her while she's awake, and I can... Oh, sorry about that. I just realized that was there. Um... But it's just nice because we can spend quality time together because when the girls are awake, it's just so loud and chaotic. Of course, I'm holding her as much as I can, but it's just crazy. We're all exhausted today. The girls did, well, not the girls. Emerson did not sleep very well last night. Um, she cried and cried and cried in her bed because she said Dossie was screaming. Um, Dawson did scream when they first went to bed and then Emerson just cried about it for like the whole night. So of course Steve and I had to get her out of bed She ended up falling asleep with us for a little bit But she fell asleep on me which would be fine if I weren't breastfeeding Andy But I had to take her off to breastfeed Andy and um, When she went back to bed the crying continued eventually she fell asleep But the whole duration of the chaos lasted for like four hours So Steve and I didn't go to sleep at a normal time She didn't go to sleep at a normal time and then she did the same thing for nap time today um, so I've just been running back and forth to the room just trying to console and calm her down. Um, but everyone is now sleeping. Thankfully, I'm hoping that they all at least sleep for an hour and a half because they really need it. Somehow, in all of this chaos, I've managed to have a somewhat productive day. I've gotten some laundry done. I cleaned my room. I cleaned my room for the first time since Andy's been born. Um, I picked it up here and there, but like a real thorough clean, it needed it. And I feel so much better. It's insane like what a clean space will really do for me mentally. It makes me feel so much better. My downstairs is pretty much clean. I try to tidy up throughout the day as the day goes by, um, just because it helps me so much. But it's the upstairs because we haven't been spending too much time up here um, that we've totally slacked on. So I'm feeling a lot better now that the upstairs is pretty much done. I cleaned out their playroom. Andy's room is clean because the girls love to play in Andy's room. So now, fingers crossed, I can just sit down with the baby for a little while and we can just relax together. Huh, sis? Do you just want to hang out with mommy for a little while? Yeah. You do. What? Are you finding your voice? And you had some hiccups in there? Okay. Yeah. I put Andy in her swing for just a minute because I realized that I have not shared on YouTube what her room looks like. I know if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen this room plenty, but I'll just share real quick. Um, so first of all, this is obviously like the statement piece in the room. I absolutely love this wall so much. Um, Steve and I worry, we worried that it was a little bit masculine, but I really, I didn't care. I thought it was so beautiful. I needed this in my house somewhere. So there it is. And I think it looks absolutely perfect. Um, aside from that, the room is super simple. We just have a few signs. We keep her swing in here right now, which is, has been a lifesaver for us. That is by far her favorite thing to sit in out of all the baby gear we have. I'll talk about that more after. Um, but otherwise, this is it. We have her rocking chair in here, and then just some pictures, um, a few signs that I have for her. So like I said, this is by far our most used favorite baby gear item that we have. This is by Fisher Price. It's called Snug a Bear Hug Cradle and Swing. I've never seen a swing like this before. It's awesome because it rocks side to side, and then the seat swivels, and it goes front to back too. Um, she's reclined right now, but the seat also sits up a little bit more, which is great for when she's a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, and she wants to see more. But right now, she's completely content staring at this. As you can see, she could stare at that forever. Not that I leave her in this forever, but she just loves it so much. It's really cool because instead of it being an actual button, you just tap it. So the plus or minus will adjust the speed. And then there are 16 different nature noises or songs. So depending on what you want to listen to, you just tap one or the other. Then this is obviously for the volume. And then this controls controls the mobile, whether you want it to spin or not. But I'm just in love with this. I usually leave it on the nature noises just because that's what I like and the girls are so loud that it's kind of soothing to have it on 
even if she's honestly not sitting in it. But she is completely content in that. And then aside from the swing, we also love this. This is a rocker seat also made by Fisher Price. This is great because it's small, so I can bring it back and forth to the playroom whenever I need to be hands-free. I can set Andy down in a safe place. There's a buckle so I know that she's secure. There are a few toys so she's occupied. On the side here, if you hit this button, the chair will vibrate. And then right next to the vibrate button, there are these buttons. There's one on the other side too. If you hit both of them, the chair reclines even further. So you have two options, whether you want it back a little bit further or you want your baby to sit more upright. And then the best part about this chair is I have the kickstand up right now so that the chair is stable, which makes this converted into a toddler seat, which the girls love. Whenever we put a movie on, they fight over this chair. They have a rocking chair and this, and they all fight over this. Um, but then when Andy's in it, all I have to do is push this. Hold on. I push the kickstand underneath and the chair now rocks, which is great. This is perfect for Andy when she kicks her legs, her toys will swing, the chair rocks, or if I want the chair to be stable for the older girls, I can do that too. All in all, I highly recommend both the swing and the rocker seat. If you guys are interested, I will leave links for both the swing and the rocker seat in my description box below. And thank you so much to Fisher Price for sponsoring today's video. Did we go outside yesterday? Yeah. And we saw the scarecrow? Yeah. What did you say to the scarecrow? Turn out. You say you sit, sit down. Turn out. Yeah, sit down and time out. What did he do that was so naughty? Want to try again? You want to try again? Yeah. Try again. You want to go outside and tell that again to the scarecrow? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? But try again. What did he do? Rain outside. Yeah, it was raining outside. Oh no. Oh man. This is. We gotta wait till there's no more rain and then we can go outside. No more rain. No more rain. You're cooking? I done rain. All done rain? Yeah. I don't know. Look outside. You tell mommy. Is it all done raining? Uh, yes. i the outside. It's hot? Oh, I, you see the sun? You wanna. Maybe we can go bye bye. Mommy would love to go get some coffee. I'm not bye bye. Mommy, coffee. Yeah. Daddy gets coffee or daddy. Daddy gets coffee too. Yeah. Well, daddy's yeah. at work. He's back. Yeah, he'll be back later. Daddy go. Daddy's at work. Back. Yeah, he'll be bye. back. Bye. Work. I love you. He's not all done yet. He has to finish working and then he'll come home. I'll go mommy, mommy work? Yeah, daddy will come home when he's mommy all done. Mommy work? Mommy works at home with you. Nice. Is it the back? No, Dossie and Scar sit in the back. Is it the back? Yeah, you can sit sort of in the back, in the middle. Okay. Okay. Ready? Maybe, yeah, we'll be back later. Maybe we should fix your hair. Oh, okay. Okay. Scarlet, oh no! What happened? Okay. What? Okay. Thank you, Scarlet. What are those called? Can Andy have those? No. Andy and I are right back where today's video started. It's about 10:30 right now. She fell asleep a few hours ago, but I've been holding her just because. Oh, she's making a sad face. I love when they do that. I've been holding her just because you, I feel like you can't hold your baby too much. And um, it was just a hard day with the triplets. They were loud and upset most of the day. It was just a really hard day. So it was overwhelming for her. So I just feel bad. So I want to make sure I'm holding her and she just feels comforted and soothed. Emerson was up until about 10 o'clock tonight. They, their normal bedtime was like 7.38. And normally they go right in their room when I say it's bedtime. They stand by their crib until I put them in their crib. And they're super good girls. Sometimes they'll talk for a little while, but they never fight us on it. And they just go right to sleep. But Emerson was up crying again. I had to go in there and check on her. Um, and nothing is wrong. She doesn't have a fever. She doesn't sound congested. But I'm wondering if she is getting sick just because this is so out of character for her if she is getting sick the only plus side is that 
tomorrow's Monday. Normally, I swear I feel like they get sick on a Friday and it's just too late to bring them to the doctors. So you just have to wait it out and hope that they're okay until Monday or you have to bring them to urgent care. I'm, I know I'm not the only mom that feels like that. I swear that happens every time. So luckily, tomorrow's Monday. And we're going to the doctor this week anyway because Andy will be two months. So she'll have her two-month checkup. And I'm dying to know how much she weighs. I don't know why I like obsess over her weight so much. Um, I think it's because when the girls were born, they were premature. So we were in the doctor's office every single week for weight checks for like the first three months, I think. We were in there every week or every two weeks. So it just became like such a habit that like I always knew what the girls weighed and it just gave me peace of mind to know that, to know that they were getting enough food. And I know she's gaining, she feels solid. She's filling out her clothes. She's almost out of her newborn diapers. So she's gaining. I'm not worried that she's not gaining, but it's just weird to not know. I guess that's it. That really wraps up today's video. We're just going to wait for Steve to, well, I'm going to wait for Steve to get home. I'm going to eat some dinner. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Fisher Price, for sponsoring today's video. And we'll see you next time. Bye. I love